charging station. Um, there's the charging station right there. If you look on the floor, you can see a silver strip. Uh, we're not actually using that right this second. Um, okay, I'm running a VNC session um, so I can see what the robot's doing on a different computer, which is uh, over here. So that is the uh, robot. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on the robot software and run it up. So just give that a few seconds to run. Um, if you yeah, there we go. So right this second it's just detected the uh, Fidgets 888 controller. Um, I'm going to uh, undock the robot from its charger. Attempting to undock. And we'll just see the undocking procedure. What I've done is I've slowed the uh, the motion right down, and so if there are any obstacles behind the robot, um, they won't be damaged. We we could uh, fit some sort of infrared sensor behind it. So. About to turn. Okay. So what it does is it reverses a preset distance and the distance is one comfort zone comfort zone being the um, sensory range of the um, of the front sensors okay so it's turning ready for normal operation okay so that's ready. So what we'll do to uh, sort of demonstrate the odometry feature is we will make the robot go to an arbitrary set of coordinates. Um, we'll just show you the screen a second. If you look on the screen you might see there's a couple of dots on the, uh, on the grid. Those dots represent uh, what the robot has perceived with its sensors. That's a scale representation of the ro what the robot sees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the robot drive forward to a place that I know that it can go to. So right here, drive the robot to these coordinates, yes. So the robot's moving to these arbitrary coordinates and that was uh, it's just about to converge on them. Just... Yeah, still it. Okay, um, so now I'm going to make it move to another coordinate frame. Um, that's that's very close. Okay, so just give it a few seconds. What you're seeing is the robot um, using arc tangent to uh, to converge on the coordinates. So what it's doing is it's calculating the x and y displacement and the angle it needs to go to to actually converge upon that coordinate. So it's actually done it. Now it's now it's converged on on this new coordinate frame. What we're going to do now is we're going to try and dock the robot back with its charger. Attempting to find docking point. So. It's going to converge on docking point. Now it's go now it's going to try and go back to that that position where it undocked. So it's going to try and find that using the arc tangent function once more.
Yep, so it's actually now it's converged on the docking point, so I'd like you to see this. Again, we slow things right down because um, effectively the uh, charger is a big obstacle, so we have to um, effectively reduce the sensory range of the sensors. So right at this very second, the sensors have actually been turned off on the front. Attempting to dock. Okay. So. Now watch this. So we're moving forwards at 10 millimeters per second. We could probably speed this up, but just for the sake of safety. For the robot's point of view, of course. And now, it hasn't quite docked, you see. Do you see the spark? So the robot will push it just a little bit, and just one second. I am now docked. The robot has now docked. So that demonstrates um, docking by uh, pure odometry. If the odometry algorithms are improved further, then the robot will be perfectly capable of driving pretty much anywhere and then docking from its. Uh, from that from that coordinate frame. Okay, thank you.